Hello everybody. Um, my name is David Wiggins and this is my wife Diane. Uh, it's been a while since we've actually made a video. Um, uh, I've sort of made excuses for myself before and I'm afraid I'm going to have to do the same again. The, um, I, I was writing my uh, autobiography and um, it's it's been very sort of painstaking to get it right obviously it's it's, it's a, you know, from my birth basically to retirement um, but uh, what's happened is is that I've been trying to download it onto the Amazon KDP site so it, as a book and uh, it, it, it won't accept the way that I've got it formatted the, the the writing in the book and the pictures the photographs that I've put in it uh, of different parts of um, you know my life and stuff so it, uh, I haven't been able to get them uh, lined up on the pages even. They've been all over the place. So that is where we've been. And um, Diane knows all about this, this painful experience. Uh, it hasn't been easy, is it? You no, know, no. So we've, we... been, we've been trying to work it out between yeah. ourselves. I mean, we've both got degrees. Yeah, but not in there. <laughs> You but not, I mean? but not in KDP. Not in, um, not in computing. Yeah. That is a completely sure, different yeah. thing unto itself. It it has, um, yeah, very... we we've been stretched to the limit yeah, it does. within our own yeah. intelligence. So, and um, what I would say is, <laughs> or lack of it, or lack of it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so, yeah, we wanted to just give you some updates. You've got to give to, me an update. Yeah, yeah. What what's and, happening? Uh, and I'm, I'm hoping to get it done by Tuesday. Um, Tuesday is actually um, the, the 19th of, of uh, March is our, our wedding anniversary so if, if there's a day that we could do it you know and put it post it that could be the day the book should go on really it's it's about us so yeah we'll go for it yeah but um, th this is also what's been on Diane's is of course is that uh, as you can mostly see Elvis behind us and the Elvis is in the building again uh -huh. and uh, it's um, Diane obviously is you know, doing her art, art as well as I'm doing my writing and um, Diane now wants and feels confident enough which I'm very pleased to say to do her own channel now on, on art mm. she was inspired weren't you um, mm. during the Covid by a man called Bob Ross in uh, it was an American and um, he used to do a very simple thing of where he'd actually show you within within half an hour how to do a painting and are you, are you thinking about doing something similar yeah or? I think Again, this was a, a learning curve for me and um, a turnaround in a direction of, you know, what I wanted to do, partly what I wanted to do. I was still obviously, um, you know, working as an occupational therapist, obviously not at the moment. I'm in between jobs, as they say. But um, the uh, the art side is has come out of me in the sense of being drawn out by this wonderful drawn person, <laughs> uh, this wonderful person called uh, uh, Bob Ross, yeah. and he's an American. I think well, he's he Canadian, isn't he? Or, um, but he was on the TV a lot over yeah. the period of COVID, mm -hmm. and it was just, yeah. what shall we put on the TV? Um, that was the BBC in the UK, and they were coming up with things like you know um art and um yeah. these walks old in, walks in the countryside and the like yeah that's right yeah walks Don't in know. the country anything to calm you down keep you you know yeah, well you're um, all trapped indoors aren't we so that's right keep yeah. you keep your mental yeah. health kind of you know um, yeah so we from going nuts <laughs> <laughs> exactly but this, this yeah. particular you know artist he's no longer with us sadly yeah bob ross um but a, a great artist, a really very likable man, and give the commentary, mm. you know, such eloquence. It was just beautiful. Just mm. to watch him for, for a half an hour program, I mean, you thought the man was an absolute genius. Um, but like I say, you know, I mean, mm. uh, Diane, you, you, you know, we've got Elvis behind us. Now, this, I uh, uh, just wanted yeah. to talk a little bit about this because this yeah. is how my channel will go. I'll. I'll explain what kind of paints you need, what paint brushes you need, what canvases and sizes and uh, a, there's a lot of things to take into consideration even before you even start painting. So um, if we can get the basics then I think that would be really helpful. Yeah. And then um, I mean 
pretty much, I think if we can establish just even some of the um, techniques early on, then once mm. we've got those, we'll build build on that. And that's how the program will, um, you know, it'll progress. But it's going to be fun. It's going to be easy. It's not going to be, you know, um, you're not going to the Royal Academy. Don't ever think, <laughs> don't but think might that, do. Might do. you know, your work might do in the end. But I'm just saying that. Yeah, you um, want it just to be fun. Yeah, I want it to be fun. But also, yeah. the point of the channel is to bring out your individual creativity. So it's not something that is manufactured. You know, you don't want to be a Royal Academy um kind of student that's uh, they're knocking out left <coughs> excuse me left right and center and they all have similar ways of doing things similar ways of drawing similar ways of painting i want you to be a bit unique and that will come because i found my own um my own style yeah and i mean let's face it you know you've got the van goghs i mean he developed his own style and so did Lowry. So yeah. you could easily be yeah. one of those. I see what you're um, saying. There's no fixed thing. It can be. No, no, no. You know, it's not good, one yeah. five. It's not one size fits all. Anyway, we're just going yeah. to the um, a bit of art here. Oh, yeah. So now this, this um, is uh, obviously this is Elvis, but uh, just use two colors. I'm not. I, 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 yeah, well, just black and white. There's a bit more than two colours. So, um, we we'll see the the first bit was to get that background in, and um, like I'm just saying that you're developing styles, and I haven't been taught to um, create a portrait. I haven't gone through the the no, um, what, college, you know, no normal you know. kind of. System, yeah, art college, or that, yeah. art college or anything yeah. like that. So this has come from my own um, creativity, mm -hmm. plus also you're using images, so images that you're seeing on the TV or yeah. you know on um, YouTube and things like that. So you're always always going to have to use something like that to help you to put together a portrait, especially as you, if you're starting off. As a beginner, there's no way you can launch out otherwise. Yeah. I mean, those first portraits are, um, well, you just got to be brave. <laughs> cool, yeah. And brave. you just got to face up to it that, you know, you, you're going to get people like, you know, family members say, oh, that looks nothing like, oh, that's his nose is wrong or his mouth is wrong. But that's okay because, you know, don't take it personally. Just you're on your journey. And yeah. that's how you develop and yeah. you grow. All right. So yeah, that's cool. what I want to nurture in you guys when I start my channel. So yeah. this is obviously this is Elvis. And like I said, David, you, you asked the question of uh, was it just black and white? Yeah. Um, well, there is there is black. There was black gesso. And again, we'll go over the colors and the painting um, materials that are used. But that was mainly a black gesso background, and it's on card, as you can see. That's not paper, but that is card, and it's not canvas. And mm. also the portrait itself. Now, that's getting the dimensions right. Now, some people use um, grids. Now, I'm not a grids person. I'm freehand. I like to just be creative, and you're going to make mistakes that's all part and parcel of it but yeah yeah so you're just saying, um, yeah as bob ross used to say um every um they're happy accidents and yeah, that's how you have to see it it's very very healthy to think that way like i just say you know it's a happy accident yeah so every accident <coughs> excuse me can be turned into as you start looking at your work can be turned into right. something that um, you never thought you you were going to even put into the painting, and you'll yeah. find that with a lot oh, of yeah, artists. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how we started. So it's black, white, and then the flesh colors. I'll go over all those kind of things, how you create flesh colors and build on that and shadows. 
um, mm. and facial colours. I mean, yeah. you know, he's got a lot of colour in his face. Now, you wouldn't see a person um, like that, um, Elvis, with, but that's my interpretation. Yeah, it's not an exact copy. No, no. And no. Um, nobody wants to see, you know, a. No. Um, no, no, a photograph because you might as well just go and buy a photograph or, or just look on, on you know on the internet and get a photograph mm. this is meant to be something unique that you you know now obviously this one now is finished that's well, very good now this is got... the thing when you say about finished <coughs> excuse me um you as yes. artists you've got to know when to finish there is a few things that i still want to dabble with but anyway that's another story right. so no anyway so, um, excuse me. Now, you can, uh, you're can you going to show us now one that you're working on, aren't you? Now, so, uh, I wanted to show you how things develop. Oh, dear. And this would be <laughs> step by step, okay? Yeah. And um, it is good to have a sense of humour. It's good to have a partner that's got a sense of humour because you don't have to <laughs> take yourself agenda. too seriously, do you? That would not be a good thing. Now, this is quite a whopper and this is larger oh. than what I usually do so I'm just bringing this round and right. David if you hold the other side that is amazing now you can see that beautifully on the screen there now um, I'm just trying to straighten it up <coughs> because I'm not distorted at all because I'm bending it a bit but it's mainly, it's all in pencil, so it's been sketched initially just to get the details down as quickly as possible. Yeah. And then obviously it's a, an unfinished piece of work. There's a lot to do on, you know, the skin tones and facial well, features. Well, he's still, still in pencil, isn't he? <coughs> and then yeah. with some black paint on there. Mm. But I mean, again, like I say, you know, I'm not saying you're a bit of an Elvis fan, but I mean, it is yeah. Elvis again, and you can clearly see that. You, you, you know, you've, you've got the look of Elvis on it. It's just got, as you say, you're just showing something that you've, you know, started rather than something like the other one that we just had that's, you oh. know, you, where you've completed it. Yeah. Nearly completed, as you say. Yeah. And this is him in his black this is suit. Again, yeah. And I'll go into details about this. And but again, it's, a, it's on card, isn't it? So, mm, yeah, so this is, a, art, is it artist card? It is, specifically, yeah. Yeah. So, so um, it's some easy cards to get, are, um, you know, they're co coated already with white gesso. Oh, yeah. Um, but this one isn't, so I'm going to have to, you know, paint all the background in. There's a guitar there, so the start of the guitar. Right. Anyway, so that's, that's um, the beginnings. Okay. Of my um, Elvis portrait. Um, it's excellent. That I will mean, be eventually. Yeah. That will be up for sale. So I will post them out and tell you when things are, when I finish work and when it's up for sale. Yeah. Okay. We stay there. Nice. <coughs> Have you got anything else to show us? Um. I just wanted to show you the, the canvases, type of canvases that I use. So this one is just your yeah. basic square um, canvas. And um, obviously, uh, two during foot by the two foot, something like that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So during yeah. the uh, tutorials, I'll give you the sizes and everything else that you'll need to know. Um, and then obviously at the back, it's, um, it's oh, yeah, a frame. There's a yeah. And the canvas is stretched over the frame. Okay. okay. So, so have, you, have you got some um, ideas of when you're thinking of starting this um, channel? Is it going to be uh, sometime this week um, or next weekend? Well, I, I won't actually. Um, I think really and truly I need to crack on with this a bit. So I'm hoping for definitely next week. Okay. Which so we're we're Sunday well, today in Australia we are um well, the no. date is the seventeenth today. Seventeenth, Sunday the seventeenth. Yeah. Yeah, but like I say we've got our wedding anniversary on the nineteenth and I wanted yeah. to have the book ready for download. Yes. So we right. can mention it again on, on the nineteenth yeah, if you like. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. there, that that a, a nice a nice thing of yeah. drawing it. 
drawing that all together. Now, um, you got something else there? Um, now, I wanted to show you this one too, because this was done in literally about 10 minutes. Oh, That's right. all it took me. So I'll just bring that in nice and close to you. Yeah. If I can. Oh, sorry, just so maybe this, go back a bit. This back is just, a bit is yeah. better. So this is on... Um, now, this is on... <coughs> paper, me, isn't artist it? Artist paper. Yeah. But again, it's thick. Yeah. And it's for acrylics, acrylic paints. Ah, right. Okay. Yeah, pretty good. And that, like, once you learn the um, Bob Ross technique... You can do that in half an hour. Yeah, you can do that really quick. Yeah, so, that's the way to do it. it's still... I mean, there are things in there that, that, like Bob Ross has said, you know, they're happy accidents. So don't worry about them. Just see them as something that you can add to your picture and just change it into something that you want in the picture or mm. you paint over it and take it out. Okay. Brilliant. Well, I'd say we, um, we just wanted just to sort of, you know, let people know we were still here in um, in sunny Oz. Um, I, I think that, um, you know, I've, um, I have spent a bit of time on this uh, book. Mm -hmm. um, it's um, Life Between an, uh, an Angel and a Rabbit's oh, Foot. Yes. Yes. And uh, the, uh, I, I, I suppose, like I say, writing it, it was I say it, something like about seventy-eight thousand words, in all. But it, it was then that um, because it's it's not a piece of fiction. I mean, it's 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 me, you know, and, and what happened to me, and what I see of my opinions, you know. Um, uh, I wanted to put in some pictures, some photographs, photographs of myself when I was younger, photographs of my parents, and then my grandparents. And then the places where I lived in Stoke-on-Trent and then obviously ross on Wye and, mm. and so forth. You, you get the gist of it, where I'm coming from. Um, but um, as I say, it's, it's, it's been an absolute nightmare. As I, I've explained about this whole um, journey that we're on, mm. is that we, we, we wanted just to say that, you know, life is good. Encourage people to do other things. There's more to life. Just enjoy yourself. Enjoy each other and, you know, your family, friends and things like that. But... Um, if you've got to, you know, something that you can sort of add, you know, writing a book, you know, painting a picture, then that's yeah. great. And we thought, well, at least we can sort of, you know, uh, do these little videos and then, you know, people might might think, oh, I'll have a go myself. Because that's all we're sort of saying is, is that, you know, um, you just work and work and work. And that's where we were heading up to COVID, was just working. And there's nothing wrong with that. That is highly recommended. And it's, it's what you do, and then you bring up your kids and all that sort of thing. But then when you sort of come to retirement, or in, the, in our case, I, I mean, I know I'm at retirement now, but I was still working when COVID arrived, and so was Diane. But we just stopped. I mean, it just stopped us from doing everything. You can't go out. Please stay at home, you know. And um, these are the things then that we did to, you know, to stop us from going nuts. This is thing about it. stop us from going crazy, stir crazy by just being indoors. Diane took up painting and watching a good old Bob Ross, God bless his soul, and uh, and of course I started writing. So that's where we are. But I mean, it's um, it's an encouragement, isn't it? It's encouraging yeah. Yeah. for us to think that we could I encourage you to have a go at something, have a go, and then if you enjoy, enjoy these, it, at least we can try to make them entertaining. So that you don't, if you don't want to do anything, you don't have to do anything. This is not a, a thing as you wear and say. You've got to be a writer. No, mm. This is not. You, Diane doesn't is saying that you have got to be a painter, but we've got to entertain you, and this is in the end what we want to do, isn't it? We want to entertain you, of of how people adapt, what people do, what you can do, uh, because you you know we're not we've not taken up things of that I have you know I have a sort of you know a degree in uh, in, in you know uh, writing or um, you know, uh, so I just, journalism, I just don't. You know, I was a science teacher in a high school. And and Diane is, like I say, she's never been to an art college or anywhere near an art thing since she was at school. She was an, She's an occupational therapist. But it doesn't stop you from doing something, and that's all that we're trying to do, isn't it? Oh, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Anyway, I, I'm, I think that's pretty much all I've got to say. Have you, ah, you got anything else to Well, no, I mean, I'm thanking everybody, and... Uh, 
um, basically, you know, it's um, it's good to be back, and we're feeling a bit more positive now. We think we've got an idea of, of how we download this book, and um, um, basically, you know, in two days' time, uh, we should be back and uh, let you know uh, how successful it was. <laughs> exactly, and just thank you, thank you, and thank you for all the likes and uh, the sharing and yeah. um, we just need more subscribers to be honest so well, I mean, there's, uh, there's, there's not there's, enough people there's, there's, to the channel when, when we when we sort of looked at uh, at the facebook um we um of, of course mine is half penny man and the half penny man and uh, david wiggins is my name so those two things on on facebook i'm very pleased with i've gone over now uh, the thing of having 500 um, followers i'm extremely I mean, it's a lot of people following. You know, it's yeah. friends and, and followers is brilliant. Thank you. But my um, my channel that I've set up um, and uh, it's on a, a a website called Wix. Now that they're they're uh, like a um, 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 what are they called? They they they're helping you to you know um, to put your they create a website. Yeah, they curate they your website yeah. on, on my facility. Uh, thanks, Diane. And um, and then basically. Uh, I mean, there is other ones out there you can use, but I'm on that one, and um, and, and we, we've we've been playing with it and toying with it, and we got it pretty good. Uh, we think we have, but we just, you know, I've got to sort of promote it, halfpennyman.com. But if you look on there, you can see all my books. That was the idea. I don't want to sit here selling books. That's not what this is about. But the books are available that I'm working on, and then I'm talking to you about. And of course, how you find them is you go on to, you know halfpennyman.com and uh, th there they are uh, through and then through Amazon. Now Diane is also now going to have a go at doing a website and of course we've been onto this Wix and we're doing an artist one and I mean it's all singing all dancing I guess it's pretty good isn't it? Yeah. Your website yeah. look, I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm, you know, we're getting there we are we getting are. there we're <laughs> at least it's better to at least try than yeah. to not have tried at all. Yeah this is the, that is the big yeah, this is a famous saying there somewhere Anyway, thank you very much, and we say we we'll see you soon, a couple of days time, and uh, we'll give you a, a, a more of an update on how things are going. But thank you very much, thank you everybody, and um, well, I'm going to say. I look forward to seeing you. Looking forward to seeing you. Yeah.